Here we are back again, checking out Ash Canyon in the new Hesitant Prospect Survival Mode update. So let's just get in here and check this out a little bit. We're on Pilgrim Mode. We've been in there for two days, 23 hours, and 23 minutes, and we're currently in a cabin called Angler's Den. Let's go. Well, we had just woken up and we were going out the door in the last video and it was locking up, it seemed like it. So I just hit it the video right there. But it actually didn't lock up. It uh, was just taking a long time to load the next area. So we got to do a couple things over again as in drop some gear and repair our lantern ah oh. well that sucks the last time it worked well do we have any more metal can we get some more metal If we had a hacksaw, we could, but we don't, so we can't, so there. Okay, what else can we drop? Well, we'll drop the tools off since we can't use them. Wait, do we have a... Nope, doesn't look like it. I was looking to see if we had a, uh, what do you call those things? Can opener? But we don't. Okay. Well, it's just early in the morning. What I'm going to do right here, just in case it does lock up so we don't have to do this over, just going to rest a minute. Let's get out of here. We should get the well-fed bonus any any moment now. We're going to have to pick up some food. So when we head up on the hill, we'll have some. If we make it to up the hill. So there's a couple long bridges going across there. There's that arch, that archway of the trees. They have an archway just like that before you go to the Mountaineer's Hut in Timberwolf Mountain. After you climb up from Pleasant Valley and you come around by the wheel, you can see an arch like that. So that might be something that way. Last time we went through there, and then we climbed up and went all around and then went over that, and then came and got over there and jumped down and we got that rifle. And now we're going to try to go through this other gap over here to see, because we think we can walk up that way. So let's check it out. That other, I'm, it looks like there is a path that goes up through there behind those rocks by the, by the waterfall. This might be the last video for this, just the first look at these uh, new area, at this new area. And then we'll resume the stalker playthrough and leave from Pleasant Valley 
and then head back over here. I should have turned that music down. Since there's no food up on the hill that I'm aware of, except we did find one deer, and there are rose hips. So I, I guess we're gonna need those up there also. I think we walked across that one time up there when we went to check out that guy where we got the striker I think that's where we went across still before noon about about 10 o'clock Do we still have that rope on us? No. As we discovered the last time, if we don't have any wood, we're going to probably not have any life either. So we want to make sure to carry some, at least to keep us from freezing to death. Just enough to bring our temperature, core temperature, back up to full, so we can collect some more while the while it drains back down again. I'm not sure if that's the same tree that we went over. Now, I think it was further back over there. So we were up there and then we had to climb down and we climbed down into here. I think this is the place that we saw where I said, oh, we could have just walked up here. I think this is it. That still goes further back that way. Let's check it out. We already know that if we go up on that rope, that it takes us just past that dam or that uh, angler's den. So. And then that'll probably take us over there to the place where we first looked at uh, when we came in. Let's check back here first, though. Some of these uh, tree stumps look a little weird from a distance, like they're an animal. Pretty windy, slowing us down quite a bit. Let's try to get out of the wind. If we can. So that uh, note that we picked up in the angler's den hut, where we just left from at the beginning of this video, 
It said that they, uh, it tried to make it a, some kind of comment like they dug too deep a reference to the Lord of the Rings and then setting loose the Balrog, that fire demon. And then now all this whole area is burnt. There's a lot of stuff floating around here still. Well, there's a rope that goes up right there. And it looks like a path that goes that way. You can see it's shadow, different than the rest of the rock. I wish it wouldn't make us have to click on it to harvest it and then click on it to take it. I mean, we're already harvesting it. Just put it in our inventory. We still have a lot of energy right now. We should be able to make it up that rope. Pistol ammo. That'll come in handy. Not really. That's what it looks like back that way. Seems like there's a path that might go through there. I don't know. That's some new music, I guess, that they wrote specifically for this, according to the update notes. There's another rope, one ledge. Could end up being useful. It says you can't see that on the map. Uh, I think that I found out that when you use these uh, spray cans, that it actually shows up on the map. It uncovers an area. But it didn't do it on this one. Maybe because it's too... Uh, Not clear enough.
get some more energy so we can climb this hill. Worked. Rope. Cook some of these up so we can have some kind of food. 150 calories per cup. Get a couple hours sleep. We got to, or else we won't be able to climb. Sure is foggy. Well, here goes everything. I guess I could have grabbed some of that coal out of that fire. Now we wouldn't have been able to use it anyway. What's that? What have we here? Baseball cap. Those are better than nothing. Reason I switched those around because this one, this uh, wool scarf has wind protection and the hat doesn't. They sure have a lot of ropes in a row. Yes, that's right, two is a lot. Hey, can't see anything. White out. Sounds like a bird. Sort of looks like you should be able to walk there. Sounds like you should be able to. Those birds are crowing over something. Another one. Damn. Twenty one, twenty eight point four. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to be losing heat, but I don't want to keep building fires unless it's an emergency. Oh, it's a little. It's not. We won't be losing too much heat. Ah. Can't we make it? 
Looks like a storm's coming in. At least we're out of the wind here. I think uh, we're not, I was thinking about making a fire, but we're just gonna go for another two. We're losing heat quick on that one. All right, it's the middle of the night, cleared up. Oh, nice full moon. Look at there. Whoa. All right, that's enough lollygagging. I like it when it's a nice full moon. Don't have to worry about the video getting too dark because it's nighttime. Look, there's that uh, same constellation that you can see when you when you walk out of the mine over by uh, Crystal Lake, going into the ravine. Uh, not Crystal Lake, Coastal Highway. My fingers feel numb. Oh no. So you can fill them. That's nice. That's a nice two. Ah, look over there. Looks like a settlement. Wow. Well, we're getting pretty cold. Let's see if we can't make a fire to get warmed up. You would think that there would be a climb point right here. Unless where we walked around like that, there was a, some place where we didn't see that came up this way. I wanna go down there, but first let's get warm. What's this?
Well, there's a rope. This stuff will come in handy. There might be a climb point. We just went overweight. Let's uh get rid of some of this stuff. Let's warm up. We'll throw that uh, fire log on there. They burn for a long time, but they don't give off too much heat, I think. Turned out pretty well. going to need to make whatever we can here. We got two more cups of that. Reason I'm I want to make sure that we keep a hold of our well-fed benefit. I like that extra 11 pounds of carry weight. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't even care. It's so dark you can't even see the exit. So I started another uh, stalker run. I've spawned into this area, but as soon as I spawned in, I left. So because I read, I wanted to go back into Timberwolf Mountain and get some supplies, and then I ended up going into Pleasant Valley and defeated the whole purpose of spawning in an Ash Canyon. Need to close my eyes. You will. Okay, well, dang, that's a lot. Uh, well, we'll sleep for eight hours. Oh yeah, I forgot that we had some of those. We have enough water. Let's see how long this lasts. Oh, no wonder we couldn't see the exit. Anything else in here? That way, we just came from that. Oh, was that the camp? Was that the camp then where we got to go? What's this? An old Polaroid. All the way up this high plateau, 
only to spot ha a half dozen more towers to climb. What a day! Ash Canyon Vista. Wherever that is. So if we find that someplace, probably over there, do we have... We don't have any. Let's try uh, that spray paint. Uh, see how it opened up a little bit of the map? That's where we climbed up the last time. Over there. So, that goes this way, but this is saying to go that way. Let's look in here and then we'll turn around. Oh. All right. What's that? They could remove this step. We've already pressed the button to harvest it. So, another rope. Hope nobody needs this anymore. So is that two ropes we have now? No? Oh yeah. I was expected to see two, two, two spots. That's 22 pounds. Look, that's 22 pounds of ropes we're carrying. And we're still underweight by dropping that torch. So where are we putting that? Let's go back over towards the city, or whatever that is down there. Look, this is the first place that I've seen where we actually get an up arrow. Which reminds me... Put, oh, they're frozen. Let's put them on anyway. They'll defrost quick, I imagine. This way. Okay. Couldn't walk up there. Ah, uh, I was thinking about taking a screenshot, but, uh, Oh, that's a different looking mountain. At least we're getting some clear weather where we can actually see some stuff for once. Okay, where's the climb point for all these ropes? Well, there's nothing back that way because this is where we came up. We had to climb up to get here. So the only thing that's back that way is down. Is this it? If it's not, it is now. <laughs> okay.
Dang it. All right, let's just go. Well, there's definitely a lot of saplings on this map. Take a look over here before we get in there. What's that? Is this a way down or is this a fall down? get out there might not be able to get out here oh no oh what are you crowing about Use this. All right, let's check out this whatever it is that has us trapped in here now. Because we're not getting back up there, there's no climb points, and the only way is down the edge of there that I out here anyway. There might be a rope going up the side, I don't know. I'm surprised that there was no uh, cattail stalks on that creek. I mean, it has fresh water right there. Is there anything behind there? How do we get out? Ah, uh, there's the mine. I need to drop something. All right, we will. Okay, can we go over here? What were they sluicing there? They were taking the stuff out and throwing it in the sluice and washing it down into the river? All right, what's that? Let's check this out. Let's 
just still about three o'clock in the afternoon and they call it a mine. Just what I need. Maybe. We don't have any more fuel. Oh, good. There's some boots. This pack is getting kind of oh, heavy. Oh, there's some oil behind the chair. Oh, accidentally picked up the dog food. Is it even heavier now? Okay. Let's grab another piece of coal. That's everything, right? Okay, this is flooded, it looks like. I hope we don't drown. What do you mean, ah? Uh, what happened? Did you fall? Or is it the freezing water? Are our boots wet now? Our shoes are wet, so let's put these boots on. Ah, uh -huh. perfect. Could end up being used. Yeah, 100%. Well, I wonder if an aurora comes. Well, it's daytime. Look. If you're standing in the water, if an aurora happens, I wonder if he gets shocked. What is that? Just one little step and you're moaning like that? That's the second time. Is it the shock of the cold? Is that what it is? How did they build that through that rock? the backpack. There's a rifle. Are those the clamp-ons? There's the cramp-ons. That'll come in handy. Traction for your feet. Rope climbing drains less stamina. Sprains are less frequent and you can travel with more confidence over weak ice. They weigh 1.1 pounds but I'm pretty sure once you put them on they're not that heavy. There's the improvised hatchet. We got a good one. I think I can use this. A lot of matches. A lot of matches on this map. Well, we hit the jackpot. Is my goodness. That rifle, you can see they're normally 8.8 .8 pounds. This one's 8.84, .8 so it probably has one bullet in it. Yep. Hey, 
That's how you can tell without looking. Technical backpack. A sturdier backpack with all the bells and whistles. You can carry more gear before becoming encumbered. Zero, zero, zero pounds. Technical backpack equipped. Carrying capacity increased. So now we're at plus 22 pounds, plus 11 from our well-fed bonus, and plus 11 from that uh, backpack that just automatically gives it to you. And you're, you're not wearing it anywhere. It just automatically update, upgrades your permanently, huh? Okay. What does this say? Glad I had my good pack with me on this trip. Some chest pain on the trek past the high falls, but I expect that after the last surgery. Just going to hunker down in here until the storm passes. <laughs> Tomorrow, high point at Wolf's Jaw and then head for home. Well, didn't look like you made it. This will come in handy. Okay, so we found the thing and the crampons. How do we put the clamp on? Oh. Feels like something is sapping so the energy. So we put these on, and it says now we have sure footing. We have the cramp on still spikes gives you better traction on icy terrain. They make rope climbing easier, sprains less frequent, and weak ice more forgiving. All right, benefit sure footing. This brings us once again to the end of another video, and I'll see you in the next one.